Hey everyone, it's Trishna. I hope you are doing well. So I wasn't actually planning to make this video. I was sitting here using my Lenormand cards to do a collective reading and collective healing. And right when I got to the first card that came out, the message already felt really profound. And I was like, maybe I should put this out there and share this with others. So that's what this video is going to be about. And before we get into that, I know that there are a few of you who have been giving me some really, really wonderful video recommendations. So first of all, thank you so much for doing that. And some of you have been like on me and trying to hold me accountable to producing these videos. And again, thank you very much. Um, I do want to say though that it's going to maybe take me a little bit longer than I would like to create some of the videos that you're asking for, but I am absolutely, it's on my list. I want to do it. I want to create it. Just right now, I've been guided by spirits to take a little bit more of a backseat. If you noticed in the last video that I posted on this channel, it was like a black screen video because I felt like I was being guided to be a little bit more in the background. Obviously, that guidance has changed now because <laughs> here I am on video, but this is definitely a time for me um, to focus a lot on healing in a variety of different levels, personal level, but also the collective level, hence why I was doing the healing for the collective here and hence why this video is now being filmed. But in uh, not my last video, but the video before, I talked about Roe v. Wade. So there's been a lot going on <laughs> um, and Spirit's asking me to focus in particular directions right now. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of background here and then we will get into the collective reading. But two videos ago, I did a Roe v. Wade video and there's a lot of things that I noticed in myself in terms of ways that maybe I was neglectful of the world around me and not understanding that the entire world, the entire collective is my home and my family and that I do have an obligation to that. So kind of taking my focus from my world, my family, uh, my area to the greater collective. Um, and in that video, I talked a lot about how I wasn't really paying attention to the news and a lot of times I would avoid the news because to me, it just didn't seem important. It just felt like the same story all the time and that that needed to change. So ever since that video, I have been reading the news several times a week. I have also joined two different organizations that are politically oriented and civil rights oriented. Last week, I texted, uh, I think almost 7,000 people <laughs> in different states in the US as part of these political organizations that I'm a part of to encourage them to vote for women's rights, etc. So I've definitely been very, very busy and definitely doing my best to live up to the realizations that I came to recently. I'm really, again, trying to take care of my whole home, which that realization, it's, it's interesting because that was around the new moon and cancer phase. And that was what I took away after that entire cycle had completed, that cancer is all about the home, but the home isn't just the home. There were things, of course, that I needed to address in the home, but the whole home, actually, like really what our home is, is the whole world. And we have a, a duty to care for each other. And I also want to preface that, though, with not everybody is in a position to be able to think about the whole world, right? Sometimes you really have to focus on what's going on with you, depending on where you are in life. So if you're just like, I can't do that, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, there have definitely been times in my life where that's not where my attention was. That's not what I wanted to focus on. Uh, or maybe that's not what I could focus on at that point in time. But now I am in a position where I can. <laughs> and Spirit's guiding me to that. And if that's something that you need to do, then Spirit will guide you to that at your appropriate time, given where you are and what you need. So um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of like healing uh, for myself, for the collective, a lot of action work in terms of the organizations, a lot of keeping myself informed in terms of like staying up with current events and things like that. So um, that's been keeping me very busy with the business, etc. Also, um, my direction is changing. So this is another reason why I'm not getting to those videos just yet. Um, like the videos that you guys have been requesting is because... There's a lot that's shifting for me and when I look at the potentials, it's not super clear and old me in the past would have been like, you know what, we're just going to dive through and we're going to get the details that I need and I can do that if I want to, but me that's older and been through this journey um, is okay with not knowing and okay with going with the flow and in the context of all of that, I'm also realizing like my manifestation mentalities are switching a lot too and like growing and developing where when I look at my potentials some of it's unclear which I'm cool with <laughs> um, and then some of it 
I'm just like, huh, that's really frustrating to see that's that that is how things are going to unfold and I'm wanting to shift it. Okay, taking this to a greater context, um, I've been getting more into astrology and this month my guides were like, don't look at it yourself <laughs> because I can get very sucked in. But whenever I work out and things like that, we'll put an astrology video um, on in the background as I'm working out. And so with the Leo new moon, which is a very recent new moon, this is a time where we're not really clear on what's to come, but this is also a time where something from our childhood that maybe we really wanted or maybe was actually a part of our purpose, but we didn't think was really for us or we didn't think we were capable of it or we just didn't think that we could do it, that's now coming back to the forefront and asking to be readdressed and showing up as a new phase of our destiny. So things that, I'm, that are occurring to me from here is number one, um, if you feel like you're really confused right now and you don't know what your path is or you feel like it's about to change, understand that it's not always your fault, you know? And if things aren't really turning out the way that you want or if you get a reading from me or anybody else and the potentials aren't really what you want, know that what's going on with you sometimes is within the overall container of the cosmos and it's not just about you. Sometimes we're in a phase where things are cloudier. It's not just you, you're not alone. And it's not always, whenever you see a potential and you're like, ah, oh, it should be better than that. Like, am I not working my energy right? Am I not doing this right? Just kind of take a step back and be like, you know what? <laughs> sometimes it's not just about me. And sometimes it's not that I'm doing something wrong. Sometimes it's just like, what's going on in the cosmos? And that's okay. We can still work with that. But having that kind of context of what's going on in the cosmos and tying that into what's going on here can allow us to give ourselves a little bit more grace, a little bit more understanding and not beat ourselves up and still work to manifest what we're looking for, but not go through the self-flagellation phase of it all as well. So that's like a new realization that I'm having. Um, okay, so let's get into the collective energies. And this video may be broken up a little bit, but let's just see how it goes. All right, so the first card that we have is the child. Then we have the fox. And then we have the woman. So the first card that I looked at was the first one that came out, which is the child. And that's what made me think, maybe I should actually make a video around this. Maybe this could be interesting for someone else that wants to do any kind of manifestation work for the collective. Um, or maybe can relate to this in themselves and do manifestation work for themselves within that greater cosmic container, like we were just talking about, coming full circle. <laughs> All I said that I explained how to purpose. Um, <clears throat> so the child, this is a message for the collective. What I feel that this is saying is that no matter where you are in the political spectrum, no matter what your values are or what you think they are, everybody right now, especially in the US, but I suppose this probably could apply to others in the world, um, this is a collective reading, I suppose. So everybody is wanting things to be better, is wanting improvement, is wanting the world to progress. And again, you may look at the world and be like, well, in a lot of countries, actually, there are parties or political aspects that seem to not really want that, right? They want things to go to the good old days, as I say, or to go backwards, where certain people are given rights, certain people are taken care of, certain people are considered equal, but not everybody else. But really at the overall collective energy level, it doesn't matter if you're somebody that thinks that way. <clears throat> Ultimately, the thing that you're asking more of is for things to be better. Now, how you envision that may be different, but those individuals are still asking for the exact same thing. We want things to be better. And so the details of how they see it don't really matter. The core essence is we want things to improve. We want things to be better. We want to be able to build this magical uh, castle. And in the spiritual community, this could be likened to the new earth, right? The great awakening, the new age, I suppose. But everybody's asking for better. Now, everybody's vision of what that looks like may be different. And the overall collective vision is going to be what ends up winning out, but Ultimately, everybody will be satisfied in the end because at the core essence, we're asking for the same thing. And right now, we're seeing a 
backwards move, right? Because we are in many ways looking at the looking at the past. Sometimes we have to look at the past to make sure that we can do something better in the future so that we can assess the past and see what worked, what didn't work, and then not dwell there, but move forward into how are we going to do things now based off of what we know from our past. And I feel like this ties into the last video that I did around manifestation and relationship cycles and things like that. A lot of that video was about looking at the past and being like, okay, here's what I learned and here's how I grew and how can I ensure that I grow going forward, but you know, knowing that that's what's happening so that I can kind of guide the growth or not be like so confused by it so that I can get to where I wanna be in a way that is very fulfilling in the end. So this is what the collective is doing, is going backwards a little bit or looking backwards so that we can improve as we go forward. And so I see some of this backward movement as difficult as it is, it's actually for the greater good. And I really like how the woman showed up because I feel like we're entering an age where it will start to become very female energy led and female includes anybody who identifies as that. Also know that we all have feminine energy as well as masculine energy within us. And in order to have the full alchemical process come through, in order for us to turn what we are as led into the gold, our true essence, um, we need both, we need to balance both. But we're definitely entering into an age where we need to be female led. And that is very important because um, we have been very masculine led and nothing wrong with the masculine, but when it's out of balance, we tend to be very destructive because masculine tends to be equated with action, but when it's action without the feminine, which is the direction, then it goes anywhere, right? And it can be destructive and there's no strategy involved in the action. So the divine, the feminine side is a strategy, is a vision, but strategy without action, vision without action is just an idea and action without vision is chaos. <laughs> so that's why both are needed, but um, we're entering a time where we need more strategy, we need more vision, we need to call upon our higher selves, which can see the bigger playing field, and we all have that, you don't have to be a woman to have that, um, but we need to call upon that so that we can make better decisions for ourselves that also affect the greater good. Because whenever we work with our higher selves, yes, we are working with our higher selves, we're working with our plan, what's best for us, but our higher selves work with other people's higher selves. It's all this collective mixing, and that's why sometimes timing can be interesting, and sometimes we should go with the flow, and sometimes we should pull the, pull the timeline forward, and we just need to feel into that. For example, with the my not entirely knowing what direction my career is going to go in because it seems like we're sprouting off in a new direction and I'm just not really sure. I could look into that. I could try to push it, but I'm going with the flow. I know it's not a timeline that I necessarily want to rush because I want the full fulfillment. And if it's going to take fulfillment, if it's going to take time for it to be fulfilled, then by all means. And interesting because this is also like in manifestation discussions, sometimes we talk about pregnancy, right? You don't want to rush the nine months. You don't want to suddenly have a baby after a month because it's not going to be viable. And I think it's kind of interesting with the whole <laughs> Roe v. Wade stuff that's been happening here. Uh, but you don't want to rush the process, right? You want complete fulfillment. And sometimes that means honoring the time. Sometimes it does mean working through things to bring the timeline up. Um, don't remember where I was going with that. But yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's definitely a time where the feminine is coming in um, so that we are being more strategic and, oh yes, right, I was talking about how working with our individual higher selves still applies to the greater good because our higher selves work with everybody else's higher selves and sometimes the timeline is affected because there needs to be unions, there needs to be um, collaborations and sync ups at different points in time to help each other along the way as we help ourselves. The other thing though that I want to say, this is another preface, is at certain stages in your journey, you need certain manifestations to happen now. And so if that's what you need, your higher self is going to give that to you. It's going to support you in that. When you have the space to allow time, like I do, that's when, you know, so, so definitely play this as you need, right? If you're just like, but I need stuff now, honor that, right? Honor that because that's what you need. Um, there will be phases in my life in the future where I'm probably going to need that now too, but right now I don't. Right now I have the, um, I suppose, the privilege <laughs> to be able to follow a more open timeline where I don't need to force things down a particular path. Um, and you know, and that changes with time. 
So honor where you are, right? Honor where you are, honor where your life is. That is always respected and loved by the universe. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Storm and public or garden. I'm gonna pull one more. Stork, okay. So this is what the collective needs right now. So let's see, let's look at Storm. Storms bring a shakeup, right? They bring a shakeup. They cause us to have to make different decisions that maybe we had planned. It's a greater force that's coming into our life, but they also bring a lot of good, right? They can bring destruction, but they can also bring a new day. They can bring rainbows. They can bring the dust finally settling and allowing us to breathe more deeply when we go outside without having to deal with additional allergies. So storms have their pluses and minuses like everything else. I think that's important to understand is when we work with alchemy, we are trying to balance the forces that are opposing. We are trying to balance polarities and we're dealing with a lot of polarity and it seems to be increasing, but my feel is it's going to dissipate. We are going to find that balance. Um, we are going to find more of that love, that connection, that understanding of another. May take another decade, <laughs> but I think we're going to start to she, see, she, see, she, we're going to uh, see a lot of shifts in that direction. It will be, you know, up and down, right? There will be stormy days and clear skies, but definitely I feel like we're headed in the right direction. You know, the storm's starting to, to dissipate a little bit. And garden growing, flourishing, coming together, working together. And then the stork, a new beginning. So how to work with these energies. This is what we just talked about is what the collective needs, but you can also take this into what do you need, right? Because you are within the greater container of the cosmos. So, and what's going on? in the energies. <laughs> so this is definitely a time to say, hey, thank you spirit for the storms, the towers that you've brought into my life. It has given me the chance to awaken to new insights that maybe I was ignoring before. It has allowed me to realize things that were not working for me that I can now focus on, I can heal on, and I can make better the second time around. And I can have a bigger picture when I try to build this new reality going forward than I did before I was aware of what was going on that maybe didn't serve me at the time. So it's definitely a time to assess what's been working, what's not been working, and to flip around the things that haven't been working and focus on the flipped version of that and also to focus on what has been working and take note of that. Take note of the things that have been working and thank the universe for it. Thank yourself for it with the garden of growth and coming together. This is a time to connect with other people, to hear insights on what's going on with them, to share your story, share your insights with others. But also whenever you hear somebody speak like me, take it with a grain of salt, right? Um, understand the message, but also be sure to see what is Trishna saying that works for me and what is Trishna saying that doesn't work for me and flip the things that I'm saying that don't work for you to the opposite and focus on the things that I'm saying that do work for you and really transform all messages that you receive into a version that supports you. That's a way of being loving to what someone is sharing while also being loving to yourself and taking from it what you need, regardless of whether you agree with it or don't agree with it, but flipping it to a version that aligns with you and where you are on your journey. And then the storks, this is definitely a time for a new beginning. What new beginning do you want, right? This is the Leo new moon. Like I was saying before, or it was the Leo new moon. <laughs> that was a few days ago. Um, but this is a time where you may be reconnecting with something that was old, right? Something from your childhood, but it's taking on a whole new leash on life. And what is that? What are you excited about? What is this new thing that you want to nurture into your life? and start being open to that, start getting involved in things like that. If there is a social aspect to it, by all means, and you feel called to it, then go for it. 
if you're not called to being social, then find people on YouTube that are talking about your interests. And that way you're at least getting some kind of interaction, you know, but in a way that serves you. All right. Let's see, any final messages here? Mice, tower. Usually the mice in traditional Lenormand readings mean something that's cutting away at you, eating away at you that you're not really noticing, or you are starting to notice and you're realizing, wow, things have been eating away at me for a long time and it's starting to build up and it needs to be addressed. However, I would, I can see this as part of this reading, right? Like notice what has been causing the storm, what's been eating away at you, flip it to something that's positive so that you can bring in new energies, right? New energies from what you've been holding on to all this time. But I do also want to say that this is saying have fun, build more play into your life wherever you can, eat well, you know, eat well, focus on your nutrition, your health, because your strength is going to be needed during this time in the collective, right? If we're going to be making all of these shifts to building this new reality that we're looking for, then of course we need to be open to the, um, so it, dark before the dawn, you know, be open to the dawn that's coming for us. Be open to the new beginnings, right? Be open to looking at the past and assessing what worked and what didn't work. So that we can build this new reality that we're looking for. So you got to build up your strength, eat healthily, eat healthily, focus on your diet a little bit more so that you are supported in all of these endeavors and... You will move up, you will rise, you will climb, you will reach the heights that you want. And if it takes a little longer than you like, or if you hit roadblocks, blocks, wow, today, <laughs> you hit roadblocks along the way, keep doing this process, keep working on your healing, keep assessing the pros and the cons of, your, of the past, but not dwelling on the cons, rather flipping them again so that you can bring in new energy, right? Instead of focusing on the cons and holding on to that, we flip it and then we can bring in the new energy. So every time you hit a roadblock, reassess, right? It's a new cycle. Okay, I've hit a roadblock. This is a new seed, a new desire that's being planted. It's like a new moon. What do I want to bring about? You know, what do I want to shift? What energies need to change so that I can keep climbing high? And with that, I want to mention something else <laughs> around manifestation. So um, a lot of times when I work with manifestation clients, um, you know, I teach them, I teach them the process that works for me or I guide them through it because you guys have the videos of the process that has worked for me. And so people usually know that process and come to me wanting uh, guidance on their journey with that. But one thing that I notice is that with a lot of my clients, um, it works, right? It works really fast. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes within a week, they'll have some major manifestations because, because they're excited about it. They're doing the process. But then what happens is They'll call in something and it won't necessarily be perfect. And I'm going to give one example. Um, so if you relate to this example, don't be, don't be mad at me for giving this example. <laughs> but for example, if let's say you're like, you know, I really want this particular person to text me. I want them to text me. So then they do their, their energy releasing and the, the emotional healing that I teach in the Law of Attraction playlist that I have in the first one through seven videos. The specific videos I'm speaking of are three, four, and five in the Law of Attraction playlist. So I do the process and, you know, within a few hours, they get a text from that particular person. But then they say, yeah, I got the text from that person, but that person just talked about themselves and I want them to talk about me. And it's important to remember that you just keep using the process and you keep refining as you go. As you go up the tower towards your goals, towards the reality that you're looking for, the new world, that the new castle that you want to create, you have to refine, 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 refine. The world will always give you feedback on how to tweak what you are working on. So with that, I say, hey, obviously the process worked because they haven't texted you in X number of days and now they have a few hours after you do this process. So they texted you, it worked, but now you need to refine it. Okay, I want them to focus on me a little bit more. I want there to be more balance. Then they refine it. Okay, yeah, you know, now they're talking about me, but 
they don't call okay then start releasing to get the call start working on your energy in order to get them to call you so sometimes things happen in steps because we don't always know the entire big picture or for some of us we don't really work off of the big picture all the time some people are able to manifest very specifically they know exactly what they want all the specifications for me i tend to only have like two specifications maybe three and the universe surprises me beyond my wildest dreams but when i ask for something very specific i get too attached and then it takes forever <laughs> um, so everybody manifests a little bit differently so just as you climb the tower just keep refining keep refining keep understanding that your process has gotten you that far and when things aren't perfect it doesn't mean that it's failed you it only means that we need to refine we need to refine clear out figure out okay i want this but i didn't like this so how i'm going to flip it to what i do want it to be and just keep building in that fashion so um <laughs> i hope this video was useful for you guys i was talking a lot but it's a lot of uh realizations that i've had and hopefully they'll be helpful for you as well and i will catch you in the next video Again, I'm not entirely sure when that's going to be, but as I said before, thank you guys so much for the video suggestions. Uh, I absolutely do want to create them for you. Absolutely. Just may not happen on either of the timelines that we want. Like, I would love for it to happen now, but it's just not like, I feel like I need a lot of healing. Hence why I was doing the collective healing, because I feel like I need to do it on like all levels for everybody. <laughs> um, so that's kind of what I need right now, I suppose. But as things become clear, with the Leo New Moon, kind of that cycle ending. Um, I might be more regular with the videos again. So anyways, I will leave you here with that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.